Good morning, kindergarten. It is Wednesday, May uh, 13th. Um, we're halfway through this month, or about. Um, I cannot believe how fast this month is going. Um, with that, I want to encourage you to keep pushing forward. I know it gets this time of year, and we start seeing summer right around the corner. It's close by. And so I really... Um, Please just, you know, keep pushing um, and uh, enjoy the time you have. Like, don't feel like you need to be spending um, hours doing schoolwork. Um, 60 minutes. With that, just a quick announcement. Um, so that 60 minutes is broken in between essentially three subjects, math, reading, and writing. So that's about, what, 20 minutes each subject, science and art and PE. Have fun doing it. I hope you are exploring those um, other subjects, but they really are secondary compared to math, reading, and writing. And so um, I'm getting a lot of great work from you guys, and I appreciate it. And um, I'm going through it and definitely reporting on it, and um, we'll have it to their first grade, hand it to their first grade teacher and um, it's good material to, you know, kind of gauge where they're at. However, I also want to make sure that they're really not just trying to get this work done and hand in worksheets. Um, there are so many times during the day that I have planned, um, I have planned a written activity for them. And we were focused on them really getting the concept, whether it be that we were spending time on the board or we were in a um, small group one-on-one, -on -one, that often we didn't finish that worksheet. But I know that the skills were getting in there. So I just want to make sure a good example is the assignment that I signed yesterday um, for reading. One of the worksheets that I assigned was the Sam the Cat worksheet. And it was them reading a very short story on Sam the Cat. There was four sentences. Um, there is a writing component at the end. And there is a drawing component. But I really wanted them and I want them to focus in on making sure that they can read smoothly. That their fluency is down. It is when your fluency is smooth and you're not still having to work on segmenting the words up, segmenting each letter sound, that's when comprehension happens. So I know we want to push to see if they understand the story, but that's too much if, they, if they're still struggling with letter sounds. So the focus is letter sounds, putting those letter sounds to words, and being able to read those words smooth um, and with fluency. That is the focus. So until they can do that, please don't move them on to the next story just to say they have it done. I'm not checking and seeing that they have 30 assignments done. That's not the goal. The goal is have they reached this skill. I'm reporting on if they've attained that skill or do they need work in that skill more. So if they're still working on letter sounds, we're going to keep working on letter sounds until they get it. Um, and so um, there's different resources and activities I'm posting in the um, virtual classroom, which I hope you're liking because I'm definitely enjoying doing it. Um, so there's phonic games on there. There's um, me reading to you and showing you techniques and strategies. So please just, um, you're doing an excellent job. Just keep, you know, take a little pressure off yourself of feeling like you have to get all of these assignments done and really just focus on those specific skills, really getting those letter sounds, especially in reading math. This group is really, they, they, they've got great number sense. Um, and I know writing has been something that they're just not having fun doing, but they need to work on those skills. So I've kind of cut back on some of those writing assignments too. Um, so again, I'm looking more for the quality work rather than just the quantity. With that, that's enough announcements. And I want to go into, um, actually, I'm going to go into this first. So I, I like um, bringing, I like puzzle breaks. Um, often when I'm studying for school or a test or um, 
even working on lessons and I kind of feel like my brain, like I'm just getting a block or I can't concentrate. I love to pull out puzzles. Sometimes it's actual tangible puzzles that I put together. Um, it's Sudoku. It's, you know, different things to just kind of get my brain working um, and not focus on what it is that I'm doing. So I don't see, so um, there's two pictures here, sorry. There's the picture of the fish and the picture of the buttons. I attached this to the Google, to uh, my Google Slides. Um, so our virtual classroom, this is on the bulletin board. So if you click on the bulletin board, there's a picture of me, a current picture of me for today. And then there's a picture, of, there's a box around the bulletin board. Click on the bulletin board and that's where you'll see this up close. But what you're supposed to do is circle the button that isn't one of the matching pairs. So they have to look through and first find all the pairs and there is a button in here that does not have a match to it. Um, and so this should be fun. This is a good just exercise for you guys to do. So um, there's that picture on that. And then um, I want to talk about, you know, um, about once a week, I uh, go over our social emotional um, stuff with you and talking about our emotions and how we're feeling. And I actually just kind of want to go over this part. So this is what color are you? So this would be a good thing for you to tell your, um, to have your child, if they're feeling any of these things, to say, ask them, say, what, what, where are you? Are you in the blue? Are you in the green? Are you in the yellow? Are you in the red? So I just want to go over what each one is. So the blue, um, you know, uh, isn't that angry, but, um, you know, it's, it's that frustrated moment. You know, they're not full out, um, red where they're hot and they're, they're throwing that temper tantrum, but they're, they're, they're approaching the green. They're getting close to it, but they're not quite there yet. Um, and so here's how to support myself. Okay, so when they're in the blue, these are the things that you want them to get to be able to recognize and do on their own. So hug a stuffed animal, give them a stuffed animal and let them hug it out. Um, definitely tell you how you're feeling. A draw a picture, ask for a hug, read a book or stretch. Stretching is a great tool to use. Um, green means I am feeling it. I am doing good. I'm confident. I'm ready to go. Um, this emotion and a blue is a pro is approaching that emotion. So, you know, maybe they're stuck on a problem and they're just, you know, like they can't seem to get there. Give them a chance to, um, to, you know, walk away for a quick second, come back to that. Um, a green, um, they're smiling. They're able to help a friend. Um, they're able to use kind words, uh, you know, give when they're in the green, keep encouraging that green. So give them just um, a whole bunch of, you know, um, high fives or hugs or, you know, those kinds of things. Um, again, when they feel success, let them feel success and then um, let them do something to reward themselves with that success. So maybe it's getting five minutes of free time before they move on to the next subject. Maybe it's getting to play a video game. Maybe it's getting to read their favorite story or whatever it is. Um, but let them feel that success and, and offer that encouragement of then con continue with this feeling. All right, yellow means um, we're struggling, okay? We're not yet in the red, but we, we're, you know, we're not in a good place. And so um, this is where we want to take deep breaths. We want to ask for a break. So we want them to get to a place where they recognize themselves in these feelings, in these zones. Are they blue, green, yellow, or red? So you may have to um, address these with them until they understand it. But at some point, they need to be able to say, mom and dad or, or parent, um, I'm, I'm in the yellow. Um, can I have a quick break? Um, but until they get to that place, you're probably going to have to say, Hey, let's, let's just stop. Let's just take a break. Um, they, they are probably not at the place where they can ask for help, 
but ask them, are you, are you needing my help? Are you needing my assistance? Are you needing me to um, guide you with this? Um, again, we want to keep with the positive talk. Okay. Um, as hard as it is to, to, um, don't do that. And it, and it's challenging because I have two dogs that I want to say that to. I tell them no and stop. Um, but we really, we want them to process through these emotions. And so, um, if they're trying to sound up words and they're getting frustrated and they don't want to, um, chances are it's hard and they don't feel confident. And so it's that encouragement of saying, okay, you can do this. Let's take a deep breath. Let's do this together. We need to sound them out. And the more we sound it out, um, the easier it's going to be. And it's just going to become something that's so automatic. Um, and so again, just that encouragement, that positivity, um, and giving them a chance to walk away, um, to relax, to try again. Um, sometimes playing with Play-Doh and clay, those things to just, you know, release the stress is really important. And when they're in the red, that's it. They've kind of already gone. So the yellow is really that place. You have a chance to kind of to stop them from getting into the red. So it's important that we that we give them that opportunity to get to the blue and then to get to the green. Um, but when they're into the red, um, you need to have them stop. Uh, have them count to 10, walk away. Everybody takes a break, take some deep breaths, run, have them do something physical. Uh, pressing up against the wall, you know, kind of doing those push-ups against the wall. Um, pressure, those kinds of things are really going to help them. And again, give them time, give them time to get out of the red and then um, you can move back into it. But um, so that's my social emotional um, talk for the week. And um, I do have a story time. Um, so I'll be reading um, one of our social emotional books. And so make sure in the virtual classroom you click on the bookshelf. All right, that's it. Thank you.